Hello and welcome to the Capis Chat. My name is Daniel Linden and I'm here with my colleague and friend Fredrik Weisseder. Thank you, Daniel. Today we're going to talk about why not all companies are meant to live forever. Okay, so Daniel, you you, uh, you and I, we meet, uh, meet a lot of companies in the industry and uh, all, you know, old companies have, I wouldn't say companies, but I still do. Old companies have ambitions, but actually it's the people in the companies that have, have ambitions. Uh, I mean, we, we are the same, aren't we? we? We have ambitions. So that's sort of connected a bit to what we have talked about in other, in other uh, talks that we've had, <laughs> other CapEx chats. But not all companies are equipped to actually handle initiatives no and it's not only all companies not all industries should grow exactly we have seen companies that are on declining markets that have fantastic opportunities <clears throat> to move into something else to do something else but then there are companies that that don't have these opportunities but they still seem to be of the opinion that it is their job that the leadership's job to find something else for the company to do. Yes, and that is um, because there is a misconception about a company, that the company has some kind of inherent value, and it does not. No, and, and also that there's a misunderstanding when it comes to the life of a company, yeah. that the company should live forever, and th- 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 there's nothing that says that. You know, uh, who says that? Companies I mean, live and companies Die, die yeah. and it is so much better if they get if they die under orderly circumstances that it's a yes. planned thing than a, a planned big, exit, a planned ex- exit rather than a uh, big crash. Yeah. So if we, for instance, if you have a company that is entirely, for instance, in, in, in newsprint, they uh, make the paper for for the newspapers Um, and that is a declining market they could think of all kinds of ideas moving into tissue um, moving into packaging moving into whatever and it's fine to evaluate those because it could be so that the asset based values it It could could be so but that is unusual and why would they succeed in tissue when it's so difficult to succeed in tissue even if you're in tissue same with packaging same with everything else and it's I think it's just fine for these companies to say, okay, we are really good at making newsprint. The de- market is declining. We have really not found any great ways of uh, converting ourselves into doing something else. So we'll simply earn our money, pay our dividends, and when the last mill goes down, we go down as a company. Yeah. And during that time, provide the owners with a lot of money yeah. that they will take and put into somewhere else in the economy, creating new jobs, new opportunities, new tax money, new dividends for their owners, exactly. et cetera. And the example I had would in many cases, maybe even most cases, be the most valuable thing that that leadership could do. Yes, and it is the responsibility of the leadership, of course, but also we must not forget the board and the owners. It is the responsibility of the board and the owners of having the right people in the right place. Yeah. If you you cannot put a wild horse <laughs> creative mind into taking care of the final decade of a company. But and I know this uh, from from having sort of seen it is that it's sometimes sometimes the the board that is the problem because they they tell the CEO, basically, yes. you have to find another opportunity for your assets. These mills, we cannot take these mills down because they're worth so much. The equipment is a goal. We, you and have to find something And else. that's what I mean. It's a failure of the board yes. and the owners. Yeah. If you liked what you heard us talk about today and want to hear more about similar topics, don't forget to click subscribe or follow below. And if you liked what you heard today, press like. 